Here's my second book, Contamination to Transformation. I just wanted to show you that. Hello and welcome. Come here, baby. We have Sophia with us again today. She said she really enjoyed it, so I let her come back. And um, today what we're going to talk about, once again, sexual abuse. But I don't call it incest very often but that's what it was for me and um, as a child my father would bring me into the bedroom or bathroom and that's where he did the ugly stuff and I won't ever talk about that I don't want to upset you and uh, he stood in front of the door and I remember that clearly because I was blocked I couldn't get out. I was trapped. And that's when the PTSD started. And so move now to the present. If I go into a doctor's office, I'm always put on the back wall and he comes in the door and he sits down and he's blocking the door and all sorts of body memories will start rising up in me. My uh, heart rate will get crazy fast. My blood pressure will go up. My head will start shaking. I forget to breathe. All the things that happened when I was a little girl. And um, what I've learned is to speak up and to protect the child within that never had any protection. And I will say, whoa, just a minute. I am about this close to a panic attack. And uh, this situation is reminding me of child sexual abuse as a child. Could you please not sit in front of the door, but could you come over here and sit on the side? And they, they will always do that. They will, first of all, they're surprised, but they want to accommodate you and they will move over. And um, it's a very powerful thing to do for yourself because when I do that, all of the body memories fade away because I'm now in control. Another time is when I'm getting, uh, going to a hairdresser, getting my hair done, sitting in that chair, feeling trapped, looking in the mirror at my shaky head and um, I can get myself real worked up again and I'll say to her I don't know if you've ever heard of this but right now I'm feeling real uncomfortable and um, as a child I was sexually abused and so if I got to kind of stand up and just kind of take some breaths and walk away Please just understand, I'm trying to take care of myself. And nine times out of 10, they will say they know somebody with that same issue. And for the rest of the appointment, that's a subject we're talking about. And it's a time that I can minister to them. In fact, one gal that I spoke to <clears throat> ended up coming to my church it was a wonderful experience. So anytime any sort of um, complication comes up, just speak about it. Just bring it out from the darkness and into the light. And just say, this is where I'm at. This is how I'm feeling. This is what I need to, to feel better and uh, I've never ever have had anyone that wouldn't work with me. Um, it's always been a good experience for me, but it can be a little bit embarrassing, but that's okay. You're just taking care of yourself and protecting yourself. Nobody protected me when I was a little girl. And um, now I am, um, 
very dedicated to making my life as calm and good as possible. So I wanted to share that with you. And uh, the other thing, we talked about the 99 or 100 plus after effects that are on sand, S-A-N-D dot F, like in Frank, dot org. And um, this helped me so much. And I just want you to know, I have it in, in all my books, I have the list. And the first section is fear. Fear of being alone, fear of the dark, fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, fear of change, fear of exposure, afraid to be touched, hugged, etc. Fear of intimacy, fear of being out of control, going crazy, fear of sexuality or sexual feelings, unexplained fear of certain places such as parks, woods, closets, bedrooms, bathrooms, fear of pelvic exams, Unexplained fears relating to your own children, such as desperately fearing that your children may end up experiencing what you did, constant hovering over them, or at least feeling anxiety about them, particularly as they reach the age at which you were abused. Fear of something bad will happen. Catastrophizing. Fear of certain persons. Fear was the first after effect that I remember having. I was afraid of everything. Everything was fearful to me. And um, I checked yes to I think most all of those. And um, next time I'll read the next section in case you haven't um, had a chance to look at that yourself. But just know that God loves you. There's a way out of any predicament that you're experiencing. And um, I hope we can work together on this video. If you have a comment and something you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. But just take care and uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget, like subscribe and write a comment. I have 14 people subscribing now. That's awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.